53 million tons of plastic. Recent research shows that by the year 2030, with our current plastic reducing practices in place, there will be 53 million tons of plastic in our oceans, rivers, and lakes. Let's get real. You and I alone are not going to change our plastic future. It's going to require governments making laws and corporations making large scale manufacturing changes. But we can influence necessary change by voting, not just at the ballot, but voting with our dollars. Because companies are going to make more of the products that we are buying. And if we're choosing to buy less plastic, they are going to figure out manufacturing with less plastic. Already manufacturers are getting on the low plastic or plastic free bandwagon. Brands like Old Spice and Dove both have deodorant now that you can get in a recyclable paperboard refill that goes in a reusable container. And you can get sustainable brands like Grove Collaborative and Hey Humans at your local big box store. Today I am in my bathroom to show you 10 products that I use to help reduce my own plastic usage. This is not a sponsored video. Some of the links in the description might be affiliate links or referral links, but these are all products that I have researched, that I use myself, and that I can enthusiastically recommend. We're in the bathroom, so we might as well get it out of the way. Let's talk about the toilet first. First up, who gives a crap toilet paper? Kind of has a silly name. It's three ply, it's soft, it's very comparable to anything you're gonna buy in the grocery store. It is not wrapped in plastic and it's made out of 100% recycled paper. They also have a bamboo option as well, if that's what you might be more interested in. And you can set up a subscription so that it is a very large box, is shipped right to your home, and you never run out of bum paper. Blue Land Toilet Cleaner. I will admit, I used those one-use little plastic discs that you put on the stick to clean the toilet for a long time. Very wasteful. So when Blue Land came out with their toilet cleaning tablets in their nice little metal container that you can refill, I made the switch right away. Drop a tablet in, watch it fizz up and foam, swipe a few times with your toilet brush and flush, and voila, plastic free toilet bowl cleaning. Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Bar Soap and a good old fashioned washcloth instead of shower gel in a plastic bottle and a plastic scrubby. It comes in eight cents. My personal favorite is citrus. This one's peppermint. Citrus is right there. It's certified cruelty free, non-GMO, fair for life, all the certifications and plastic free. Ethique shampoo bars and conditioners. Now I don't actually currently have one in my shower right now because I want to switch to Ethique's concentrates and I needed a bottle to do that. So I recently bought the Love Beauty and Planet shampoo and conditioner from Target so that I would have these refillable aluminum cans. When I'm out of them, I will buy the Ethique concentrates. I will just say, I do not love this shampoo and I'm very much looking forward to being done with it so that I can switch back to the Ethique. I really do like the shampoo bars. I was concerned about using the shampoo bars because I have really long hair, but I really like them. In fact, I think I'm going to stick with the shampoo bar, but then use the conditioner concentrate. I did not love the conditioner bars. Hey, humans, body lotions. You can get these at Target. They are made out of naturally derived and vegan ingredients without any harsh chemicals. And they have awesome scents. Ooh, kitten alert. There's banana aloe, which I really like. This one is lavender vanilla. They have an apple matcha. There's another one. These are really nice and in recyclable aluminum containers. Native deodorant in plastic free packaging. I have tried several natural deodorants over the years and inevitably wound up going back to mainstream because they just stopped working for me. I don't mind sweating. I do not want to smell. But Native stands up to 10 days of scalp camp every summer. It's awesome. I love it. And I will say that it's plastic free packaging is really good. 
it works really well. I recently tried the Hey Humans in the plastic free packaging. And after just the second or third use, the top of the cardboard starts to get kind of messed up and I can't put the lid back on it anymore. I have not had that problem with Native. And Native comes with really great smells. My favorite is the coconut vanilla, but I just, I really love this product. I, it's probably one of my favorite plastic free things that I use. Hey Humans Toothpaste in a metal tube, 100% recycled plastic cap, and a recyclable cardboard box. I've tried quite a lot of plastic free toothpastes and tooth tablets. I really do like the tablets, but Hey Humans was the first one I found with fluoride in it. And I do like to have fluoride in my toothpaste product. Bamboo toothbrushes. Now, I don't currently have a bamboo toothbrush because the most frugal thing is to use the toothbrushes you already have. And I still do have a back stock of toothbrushes that have been given to me by dentists over the years, but I've used bamboo toothbrushes in the past and they're really just as comparable. I like brands like Reach, who makes a bamboo toothbrush now because you can buy them in more mainstream locations, but you can find plenty of options on places like Thrive Market, or the Grove Collaborative, or even on Amazon and at Target. I did try the Preserve toothbrush once, which is made out of recyclable plastic, and I really wanted to like it because we do want companies who are attempting to reuse recyclable plastics, but it was kind of a weird just toothbrush. It bent backwards instead of forward, and so it made the whole grip on brushing my teeth different. Didn't love it but check out the bamboo toothbrushes. They're pretty nice. Blue Land Hand Soap. I really like foaming hand soap, but if you don't already know, foaming hand soap is mostly water. So it doesn't make a lot of sense economically to buy a new bottle every time you need it. Blue Land Hand Soap refills cost about $2.50 each. I make the refill liquid in a mason jar and then fill up bottles I already had around the house. So these are 10 of the plastic-free items I use in my bathroom. Leave a comment below if you'd like me to do a video on my go-to kitchen plastic-free items in my house. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted every time I am sharing about minimalism, decluttering, and living intentionally. Until next time, I hope your days are increasingly clutter-free and filled with the people and things that mean the most to you.